your bowl now there then yet, huh? Oh. Come on, Bobby. Time for school. Whoa! Bobby. Oops. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Time for noogies! <laughs> Mom, Uncle Ted is here. Of course he is. We're eating. Hey, I was headed for the semi-annual socks in a can sale, but uh, I got about an hour to kill. Please don't kill me. Hey, buddy, finished with the cereal? Oh, you got the back-to-school jumbo pack right. Mom, when does school start? Oh, yeah, that would be Monday, and you'll be going to Big Kids School. Big Kids School? Yeah. You'll have a great time in kindergarten. Oh, criminally, that reminds me. You'll need a new lunchbox for kindergarten, because you'll be in school all day, don't you know? In school all day? Hey there, Bobo. I know what you're thinking. You do? Think of starting all day school as the start of a journey. Like, like, uh... All of those travels? Exactly. So, let's see. Once upon a time, a young cabin boy named, uh... Bobby? And um, Bobby was sailing across the ocean. When a huge wave washed him overboard. In the morning, Bobby Gullible found himself washed up on the sandy beach of an island called Wonderland. Wonderland? Yeah, because, uh... It was full of things of wonder, like uh, like a big white talking rabbit. And like, and like a very important date. Uncle Ted, I don't think this is how the story goes. Hang with me, Bobbo, because just then, this big kid came along. I'm going to take you to big kid school with me and show you to all the other big kids. Excuse me? What's the story supposed to be about? Mm, nothing. I was just trying to take your mind off being nervous about going to big kid school. I wasn't nervous until your story. Oh, that's an oops. Bobby. Huh? Oops. Dad, can you, like, take us to the mall? Yeah, and I need some money. Now? I've got to tee off in five minutes. Better take cover, Roger. Dad's going to get teed off in five minutes. Dad, it's life or death. School starts on Monday. We have got to go to the mall. Oh, I'm sorry, Ken. I only have time right now, huh? Time, Steve! All right. That's better. Now, I'll take your kids. If everybody finishes breakfast and gets ready to go shopping in an hour. Thanks, Mom. You're a lifesaver. Toodles. Leave it to moms to keep dads from getting teed off. Did you hear that, dweeb? Quit goofing around. You got one hour to get dressed. An hour? Okay. How long is an hour? Oh, simple, Bobbo. It's like watching two Captain Squash episodes. Wow! Two Captain Squash episodes? When did they start? Mommy, he's not on for 15 minutes. 15 minutes? How long is that? <sighs> you are so hopeless, Bobby. Mom, how many days till Monday? Well, as I figure it, today's Saturday, so that's two days. Oh, don't worry, hon. You're gonna have a great time in school, don't you know? How can I have a great time if I don't know what time is? Oh, Brooke! What is it, Pipsqueak? I'm in a hurry. What's going to big school like? No biggie. My first day, cool as a breeze. The time just flew by. <laughs> Heck, I didn't even need anybody to walk me to school. Oh, yeah, Mr. Growing Pinocchio knows. I guess your memory's not so good there then yet, is it? Kelly held your big, brave brother's hand all the way to school. Mom, how far away is school? Oh, just five minutes away. Well, if I don't know how long five minutes is, I won't know when to stop. What if I walk seven minutes? I might walk to the wrong school. And even if I go to the right school, what if I'm the only one who doesn't know how to tell time? Oh, Bobby, don't you worry, my little manzy. Your big brother will walk you to school just like his big sister walked him, and everything will be just fine. You wait and see. Won't it, Derek? Sure, why not? Well, good. That's settled then. Listen, Bobby, the first day of school, I don't want to be late. You better wake up on time or you'll have to walk to school all by yourself. Well, walk to school? All by myself. Don't go away. We'll be back in a few moments. Back in a few moments? 
opportunity to expand our learning horizons. It is? That's what Hillary says. I'm not so sure I'm ready. My mom says there'll be a special time set aside to do all sorts of things. Special time? Kids in big school know how to tell special time? Oh, for dillying and dallying sick, Bobby. Where have you been? Why do parents always ask where you've been when they know where you are? Bobby, you're filthy. <laughs> Didn't I tell you we would be leaving for the mall in an hour? Yes, but I don't know what an hour is. Sounds like a family matter. I'd better be going. Nice to see you, Mrs. Jenrick, don't you know? Yeah, right back at you, I'm sure, Jackie. Now, Bobby, why can't you stay nice and clean? Like Jackie here. I may not know much about time, but I know there isn't enough of it to explain that one. Oh, take it easy, sis. Look, I still gotta get my socks in the can, so Bobby can come with me to get his school stuff. Well, okay. Well, here's a list of what he needs. <laughs> I love those doors, Bobo. They're great. <laughs> Hey, wonder if I could put one of those in my condo. Okay, let's see what you need. Underwear, pencils, drawing pad, lunchbox. Anything else you can think of that's not on the list? A wristwatch. If I'm gonna know when to do stuff at school, I need a wristwatch. You're right, Bobo. It's about time you got a watch. About time? About time? What's the big deal about time? All the time! shapes and how to tie my shoe. But I don't know what they mean when they say it's half past two. Can you wait a second while I think of another verse? Wait, I don't know how long a second is. This is getting worse. Time is so important for our kids, women and men. He doesn't know what it is. and minutes and even hours. And if you know how to use them, then you have special powers. Dogs can't tell time, but to them it doesn't matter. Uh, between Elvis and Uncle Ted, I think Elvis was fatter. Which has nothing to do with the song, but I figured we had the time. Time is so important for our kids, women and men. He doesn't know what it is, but he knows it tells him when. There's one thing that I know. This little song, I guess you know by now it's gone on way too long. Ah! So, Bobby, is there anything else you can think of? Okay, we got you a watch. Next up, a lunchbox. Welcome, and young tyke. Welcome to the Lunchbox and Magnet Emporium, where you may gaze upon the countenance of the largest selection of lunchboxes and refrigerator magnets ever assembled under one roof. <laughs> Thanks to Mr. Snurd. No, no, Hair Maker. I merely realized a vision. Hey, Bobo! Over here! Gotta have a lunchbox you're proud of. Absolutely. <laughs> the importance of a lunchbox cannot be stressed too much, particularly construction. construction. Otherwise, that healthy liverwurst sandwich, carrot slices, and piece of fruit may be bruised. Uncle Ted, over here! Captain Squash lunchboxes! <sighs> Captain Squash lunchboxes! But which one do I pick? Wow, a Captain Squash and a Time Bandits one. You shall not steal time from this galaxy, you uncivilized time bandits! Bobby, help me! I only have half a minute left on my power pack before I have to leave to recharge my weapon. Drat, I'm out of spinach seeds. Me? 
lead us, Captain Squash. There's no stopping the two of us now. Sorry, Bobby. I've got to leave. You were late. You'll have to battle the Time Bandits by yourself. Captain Squash! I can't do it alone! Excitement, Bobbo. Okay, easy, Bobby. If you don't want this one. I need one that wakes me up. So Derek won't leave me and I'll have to walk to school alone. Oh, gee. I'm afraid that feature's not available on any lunchbox. Nine, nine, nine. Hmm. Maybe on next year's models, eh? No problem, Bobbo. I've got exactly what you need back at my place. I've got a whole collection of alarm clocks from my secondhand closeout merchandise reselling business. See something you like, it's yours. Take your time, Bobbo. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> time joke. Take your time. <laughs> go, go! Hey, go, go! Hmm. It's so hard to decide. No problem, old Bobby. Give them all a time trial. <laughs> Keep the one you like. <laughs> time trial. <laughs> I love a good time joke. Thanks, Uncle Ted. Night, night, Mr. Manzi. You had a big day. You and your new clock get a good night's sleep now. Okay. Mom? Turtles! I can't sleep. Oh, oh, sweetheart, are the TikToks keeping you awake? No, just ticks. I'm missing the talks. Could you give me quieter time? Oh, yeah, I can do that. Mm. Wake up! Wake up! You're sleeping your life away! Ah. Guess it's time to get up, Roger! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up. Oh, oh. A sleepwalking nightmare. I need my beauty sleep. How can you wake me up in the middle of the night? Was it me? It was my new alarm clock. Why did you set it for midnight, dweeb? Midnight? When's that? I just wanted to practice not being late for school, so I set my clock by the one in the den. That one, the blinking one. Dweeb, that clock always blinks 12. Oops, am I in trouble? You're in trouble! Your stupid alarm went off in the middle of the night. Back off, Derek. Bobby doesn't know how to tell time. Well, I think we should teach him how. Oh, okay, mister. I can't set the VCR clock, man. Hey, that that is different, honey. No one can set a VCR clock. You'd have to be a, a rocket scientist. Voila. Oh, okay. Return to your beds. There's nothing else to see here, for corn's sake. <laughs> this whole day just dragged by. I can't believe how tired I am. Oh, yeah. Oh, Ditto. I, I, I'm sorry. Oh, now, honey, it's not entirely your fault. If you don't know how to tell time, we can't expect you to set the alarm clock. Mom, does everybody in big school know how to tell time? Now, don't go getting yourself all worked up, son. Learning how to tell time is, is really simple. See, every clock has a big hand and a little hand. That's a hand? Good thing I don't have hands like that. And now, the defending ice sculpture champion, Bobby Clockhand! Bobby, you have five minutes to complete your ice sculpture starting now! teach you how to tell time, don't you know? And you won't learn anything playing with your ice cream there then yet. Bobby, look, if you want to know what time it is, just do what I do. Call the time lady. You can call for time? Hey, it's not like they delivered time to your door, bird brain. Sometimes Derek scares me. It's like he can read my mind. Don't worry about hands and all that stuff. Go digital. Just read what it says. Uh-huh, but, but I can't read. <laughs> <laughs> hey, sis. Oh, not interrupting, am I? No, but if you're here for dinner, you're late. Nah, no, just wanted to see if that alarm clock worked out. 
don't ask. That's why they're trying to teach me to tell time. Learning to tell time? <laughs> That's easy. See, each of the numbers means uh, two or three things, like the two. Now, the two is a two, you know, but if it's in hours, it's a ten. But if if only if it's in minutes, or then if it's in seconds, uh, you got it, right, Bobo? It's easy. Help. Oh, Bobby, why don't you give it a rest for now and go to bed, hon? You get a big day tomorrow. I'll come tuck you in. Bobby, what in the... What is all this hoo-ha? I'm not gonna go to sleep tonight, Mom. I'm gonna stay up all night playing games. That way I'll be sure to be up in time to go to school with Derek. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, now don't you worry. I promise to personally wake you up in plenty of time. Thanks, Mom. You don't want to miss your first day at kindergarten, do ya? <sighs> no. Good night, sweetheart. Keep the lights tight. Tie him down. Use a sheep shank if necessary. He's waking up! Pull me up! Don't try to move, Bobby Gullible. Well, I have to get up. I can't be late for school. I'm falling. I can't get up. Bobby, what the heck is on? What's going on there now? Yeah, You don't want to oversleep now, honey. Rise and shine. It's a new day, and it's time to get dressed for your first day at kindergarten. Whoa! Bobby, you're dressed! I wanted to make sure I wasn't late, so I dressed after you tucked me in. Come on, Squirt. Is it the fastest you can walk? I'm leaving you behind if you can't keep up. Okay, okay. I can't help if I'm not a good walker. Ah. Oh, yeah? You know what happens in big school to kids who aren't good walkers? No, what? They have to go to walking class instead of recess. I'm kidding ya. Guess that's what I'm here for. Quit being so uptight about school. Look, let me tell you something. Everyone is nervous the first day. Even the big kids. Really? Even the big, big kids? Yeah, even us. But everyone gets over it after they meet their teacher. Really? Thanks, Derek. You're a pretty nice big brother. And I could be a lot nicer if you'd walk faster! <laughs> well, Bobby, there it is. Big school. As my mom would say, this is the first day of the rest of our educational lives. Yes, so. You don't think we're late, do you? How should I know, Bobby? I don't know how to tell time. You don't? I thought I was the only one. Well, as my mom would say, I guess it's high time to look the music right in the eye, don't you know? Class, I'd like to welcome all of you to our school. I'm Principal Walker. And I'd like to introduce you to your new kindergarten teacher, Miss Wells. Let's all give her a big hand. I'm not put to one of my clocks to give her a big hand. Good morning, class. Good morning, Miss Wells. We're going to have a lot of fun together, learning a lot of new things. And the first thing we're going to learn is how to tell time. <gasps> I think I'm gonna like big kid school. Well, that's our show. Hey, Bobby, you know what time it is? Time to buy a new watch. <laughs> I, get, I get it. Anyway, you tune in tomorrow at the same time on the same channel to watch Bobby's World. I know what time that is, Howie. You know where the big hand is? No, Bobby. Where is the big hand? <laughs>